common questions we get here at Skidsteer Solutions is, what do I do with my couplers? How do I connect them? What are they for? What I want to do today is just give you a quick rundown of just how you connect your attachments, how the couplers are set up on your machines, and just what is each function of all of these different things hanging off the front of the machines. First coupler you'll notice at the bottom is actually a female flat face coupler. What this coupler is on a Bobcat is actually your pressure coupler. So on your trigger switch inside your, your Bobcat, when you hit that trigger, you'll actually have flow coming out of this female and going into your attachment to drive either maybe a mower or some kind of other motorized attachment. Uh, when the flow returns, it comes back up through the male coupler. The male coupler then ports it back into the Bobcat, back through the filter system, and it gets repumped and comes back out here again. So this is your female, this is your pressure, this is your male, this is your return. The middle coupler here, between your pressure and your return line, is your case drain. This is a 3 8 male flat face coupler. What this does is it takes any excess pressure and takes it back to the return line and into your reservoir. So the idea of this is if you were, had a motor um, and you had a seal relief on that motor, if they built, you had built too much built up pressure in that motor, what would happen is that pressure would, instead of going and forcing the seals out of the front of the motor, that pressure would come back, go through this line, and go back to the return. On some Bobcats, you'll notice one other connector, possibly two, especially on the high flow models. What these are, these are electronic controls for the attachments. Skidsteer Solutions manufactures many different types of attachments, and what we do is we put a solenoid on there if we want to run something that has multi-functions. And what this does, what these controllers do, is they enable you to run from the inside of your cap, they enable you to run those solenoids down on the attachment, and activate other functions on those attachments. The first connector I want to talk about is the Bobcat 7-pin connector. It's usually the top position in your machine. If you notice, you take the cap off, you'll see 7 pins in here. What this is, is it's a serial bus connection that runs out to the attachment. Each attachment available from Bobcat has a little computer on there that connects back to this, and that, which can, then connects inside to your internal computer and allows you to use your joysticks to control the attachment. The next connector I want to talk about is the 14-pin connector. If you notice, you take the cap off, you see 14 pins in here. This is kind of an old school connector. It's been around for decades. And what you'll see is most manufacturers that make aftermarket attachments, we use this connector. And that includes Skidsteer Solutions. We offer a plug and play option on all of our attachments that use a solenoid drive system to operate the second, third, fourth functions. And what we do with that is we take that connector, we run it right back into this 14 pin. It allows you to use the joysticks on your existing machine. You don't have to add any switches or toggles or anything. You can actually use the joysticks on your machine to operate our attachments. This is a really great function to be able to have. And I always encourage our customers to buy a 14 pin connector. It's an option from Bobcat. It's an option on most other machines. Uh, Caterpillar uses an 8-pin, ASV uses an 8-pin, but it's still the same thing. Skidsteer Solutions offers these 14-pin and 8-pin kits that plug right into the attachments and allow you to operate them right from inside your cab. I have one of the 14-pin kits available from Skidsteer Solutions. What this is is an adapter that plugs right into your Skidsteer, and it has a Deutsch 2-pin connector on the back end. All the attachments available from Skidsteer Solutions have the mate to this, so you would just simply plug that in, plug in your couplers, you're ready to roll. Everything is operational from inside of the cab of your machine off your joysticks. What we have here is a new Bobcat M-Class machine I just wanted to show you. It's, it has a very similar layout to the old machines. It's just everything's contained in this one block here. If you notice you have your female coupler, there's your male coupler, there's your case drain, there's your 7 pin, and in this case we've installed our own 14 pin aftermarket. So there it is right there. So same thing as before, you just screw the caps off and you can plug it into any of our plug and play attachments. Uh, this is actually a high flow machine. Bobcat chooses to use a half inch coupler for this to run their high flow. Uh, it's selectable from inside the machine. So all you would do is to select between high flow and low flow. There's just a button that you push inside the cap. For this and other educational videos, check our website, skidsteersolutions.com. We hope you'll become a valued customer of ours.